The school bus of the future is here today, delivering your kids to school in the morning and then delivering power to your home during the day. How does it work? Philip Palmer has the electric bus solution. The Cajon Valley Union School District uses just over 40 gas and diesel powered buses to get kids to school. But they also have seven electric buses as the district tries to make its fleet more environmentally friendly. The kids love them. They love their quiet, they're clean. Uh, these particular models, the air conditioning is brilliant on them, which is great for Southern California. But these buses are more than just electric vehicles. Because of first-of-its-kind technology, when the buses are sitting idle and not transporting kids, they have the potential to transport electricity to the power grid. We're actually able to use these charging stations combined with Nuvi's platform to export the power based technology company Nuvi is testing a pilot program called V2G or vehicle to grid in El Cajon. Just last week the district provided San Diego Gas and Electric with surplus electricity for the first time by discharging unused bus power to the grid. The program is possible because of Nuvi's technology, the large batteries needed for the buses, and because the bus schedules are predictable. Parked for the night at 4 p.m. just as demand for power peaks. Our main focus is to get kids to and from school safely, but if there's other levels of service we can use these vehicles for for our community, like supporting the power grid, I think that's a great useful dual purpose for these vehicles. A bus returns from its scheduled route with roughly 70% of its power remaining. Recharging is scheduled for after midnight when power can be purchased at its lowest price. That makes selling the surplus power at peak prices a positive revenue source for the district on a passive asset. So when I say that they can be aggregated as a virtual power plant, you can actually use them to provide grid services and establish a cash flow for those services. The amount of power provided through the V2G program is limited by the seven buses in El Cajon's program. But the hope is, eventually, the entire fleet would be used as a virtual power plant. And every school district across the state could help stabilize our power supply. This is the point where things are starting to scale, and it is very exciting. We all know that diesel engines are the biggest culprits of polluting.